In this video, we count on the top 5 experiences true to both books and movies in the wizarding world of Harry Potter, Universal, Orlando. It's Morty, and this is the Pelican Pod Travel Vlog. If you're a fan of Harry Potter, it can be a dream come true to visit the theme parks in Orlando. From the Knights Blast to Grimmauld Place, everything is an amazing experience and it's a must see for fans of the franchise. But we're going to count down our top 5 selections that match up what we saw in our heads when we read the books or enjoyed in the movie. Number 5 y'all, Inside the Leaky Cauldron and the Three Broomsticks. We're talking about the food, the experience, the vibe, the sounds, the sights. Everything about it is just exactly the way we pictured in the books, with maybe just a few tiny exceptions with the smallest little details. Everything came to life in the Wizarding World, and you can't be happier than to sit down and have fish and chips in the Leaky Cauldron, or to order a Hogshead Ale. So when you make your pilgrimage to the Wizarding World, make sure you don't just sit down, drink a beer, and look around. Get up, explore, take a look at some of the outdoor patios, take a look at some of the interesting and intricate placards. Not to be cliche, but the decor is amazing, and both sit-down restaurants within the Wizarding World will surpass the experience that you had hoped to see. So grab yourself some fish and chips, Grab yourself a Hogshead Ale or a Butterbeer and start the day off at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter the way any respectable wizard would do. Muggles and wizards alike will agree that it is a great place to start on our list of top five things that match the book and the movies. Coming in at number four, things that match our expectations after reading the books and watching the movies, the shops at Diagon Alley. I'm just gonna put it out there, y'all. Diagon Alley shop is Harry Potter. If you've wanted to see puking pastilles or any of the various sweets, chocolate frogs, it's here. There's two sweet shops, depending on which park you're in including the ice cream Florian Fortescue's, the Weasley's Wizarding Wheezes, bookstores and Quidditch stores, anything that anybody who loves Harry Potter might want to see as far as merchandise and things that the wizards regularly buy. Yes, the wands are there and there's a whole wand experience. And who wouldn't mention the dragon perched on top of Diagon Alley who breathes fire on a regular schedule. So whether you're looking for robes, wands, and experience, have your money ready because you're going to want to shop Diagon Alley. It's one of the most authentic things from both the books and the movies. For longtime fans like us, it was an absolutely magical experience. And here at Pelican Pod, we know that our opinions might be controversial. Let us know in the comments if you have a different idea of what the top five things are, or if there's something we left out. We are midway through the list. Where's Butterbeer? Well, I'm not sure where Butterbeer is, but the next thing on our list are the moving portraits in Hogwarts Castle. Ever since the very first book and very first movie, people have been captivated by moving pictures and the way the portraits will talk back and forth inside Hogwarts Castle, where you can go through the queue, whether you ride the ride or not, on Harry Potter's adventure and take a look at some of the behind the scenes inside the castle. If you're lucky, you might just hear a conversation or two. Of then again, all these muggles running about, perhaps. That's true, there are muggles running about. 
But there's also wizards, so no matter which house you're in, Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, or Ravenclaw, you will find representation. And keep your eyes open, you should be able to see all your favorites up in the portraits, including some notable mentions from some famous people throughout the books. Even some that aren't included in the movies. One of my favorite portraits is towards the end of the queue line, just before you get on the ride. Where somebody moves from one portrait, runs to the left, and shows up in the next portrait. And the bench he sits in even matches the ride. Which takes us to number two on our list of things that match what we imagine in the books and we saw in the movies. Number two, Gringotts Bank. Now, I already talked about the dragon, y'all. We all know about him. But inside, there is an amazing cue that looks exactly like the movies where the goblins will even look at you and they're programmed because they have motion sensors and they'll stare you down. Now, this is a very popular attraction and it's unusual to see footage like we have. We were there for a special event and we were able to get some views of the queue without anyone else in line. However, if you do have the time, stick around and check this place out. Just look at the details, the chandeliers, the marble work, it's quite amazing. And you can even trade in your muggle money to get some wizarding money. That works for anything you want to buy in the wizarding world. The ride Escape from Gringotts was our favorite overall ride, and of course, there's her. We weren't scared either, but we sure did enjoy that dragon breathing fire that takes us to number one, the Hogwarts Express, platform nine and three quarters in London. This is a train that takes you between Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios, the two different theme parks. You do have to have park to park pass to experience it on both sides because the train will take you from Hogsmeade Village over to True London and from London back to Hogsmeade Village. Each direction has a unique experience, a little show. You'll hear familiar voices, see some familiar scenes. That's what makes this our number one when it comes to things that just met exactly what we imagined in the books when we read them and matched what we saw in the movie so that we could experience the wizarding world of Harry Potter and feel like we were there. And it really did make a little magic. Now I did say our list is controversial. Hogwarts Castle, seeing the outside, seeing the light show is not part of our top five list. It was wonderful and we do have videos. We'll put a link in it where you can see that experience. But this is a top five list just about what we wanted to see from the books and from the movies. Thank you so much for watching everybody, this is Morty signing off, Pelican Pod Travel Vlog on YouTube and Patreon. Come fly with the pod.